<laughs> Candiru. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, you should explain what it is. It swims sure. up your dick hole. So it's this tiny parasitic catfish in the Amazon. And what it does is it, it's attracted to urea, which comes out of fish's yeah. gills. And it's a parasite. So it swims into fish's gills and lodges its spines into those fish's gills to feed. But this nasty little bugger, because it's attracted to urea, will swim up your urethra. Now that's, that's, that's all fine and well, if you, if you will. But it has reversed facing spines. So once it swims in, there's no swimming back out. The same spines it uses to lodge into fish gills. Oh, no, that's boy. a lamprey. That's nonsense. <laughs> but um, once it's lodged in, the only way to get it out is to butterfly <gasps> and lift it out. Oh, God. I'm not even going to say it. But How often does that happen? I don't think it's very regular, but yeah. I can tell you when I'm in the Amazon, I'm like peeing back and forth just because I'm scared something will like swim up the stream. <laughs> yeah, when you pee, like, uh, are these people peeing with pants on? I or think like, so, yeah. they wear shorts Board and shorts still or... swims up the legs and gets in there? I mean, I think it's just incredibly unlucky, but it's happened a lot more than once. It's it's a, you know, a relatively regular thing. Oh, is that an operation? Oh, look at that Reddit picture. That's not oh, real. Yeah. That's Jesus. not real. But that's fake, but this one is probably. It says <laughs> oh it's on its leg, not God, anything. Get out this of one. here. Oh, get out of here. I don't want to see this. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun show. <laughs> Yeah, everything's trying to kill you. Everything. Everything's trying to kill you. But I go into the forest with a peaceful intention. Sure. I am your friend. Please. I'm here to wander. <laughs> please Do not eat. Please, me. fish, don't swim up into my urinary tract. Plus, I only eat vegetables, so they know <laughs> that I'm in harmony. Well, so does a deer, bitch. <laughs> the deer only eat vegetables too. They fuck them up. She's gonna be listening to this podcast and be very upset. She, she does not listen to my podcast. I will guarantee you that. Um, she's a nice lady though. Yeah, she's just kind of wacko. Yeah. But a lot of a lot of them yoga people are wacko. Yeah, it's like something about like that path, the path to Satnam, mm -hmm. the path is you know the self enlightenment. Just, yes, yeah, huh? yes. Yep. I live in Santa Barbara. Trust me. I know. Oh yeah, there's yeah. a lot of them up there. A lot oh, of yeah. rich ladies. Mm -hmm. They f try to find meaning after the kids leave the house. Yeah. And they yep. really get into yoga. <laughs> right. Or into their yoga instructor sometimes. <laughs> yeah, they get, oh, there was a yoga instructor that I knew that was doing that. It was bad. And all these ladies. Yeah. He was just, he was like so cheesy. Like, I couldn't believe it worked. Like, like the say, ponytail and yeah, like the whole thing. He didn't thing. have the ponytail, but he was like, he would like sing yoga songs in class, but he was like really into himself. It was like, yikes. You know, people just like give off a vibe. Like, yeah. Hey, bro. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you know, like, like almost like a televangelist -y vibe. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure he'd be a great cult leader. Uh, yeah, no, not really. No, be, uh, only for dummies. Yeah, <laughs> well. it wouldn't work. You got to like to be a really good cult leader. Like, I think it's like a balancing act. Well, you have to trick everybody yes. into your thing, right? Which right. takes some smarts for yeah. sure. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there, though. Yeah, you don't, I don't think you have to be that good to be a cult leader. No, like you could be pretty shitty at it. How do you find your followers? That's a good question. That's... I think you start off being a self-help guru. Oh. That makes sense. Self-help guru, yep. and then you eventually move people into some sort of a communal situation. Yep. Like, we don't need society, man. Right. We can do it better. Man, yeah. I'll be your leader. And then he's banging everybody's wife. Everybody. And he wants all your money. And, eh. Doesn't sound terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it does if you're, if you're the guy whose wife is getting yeah. banged. Like, honey, yeah. Yeah. What, I thought we were just going to be peaceful out here <laughs> living off the land. Well, you know, he wants to bless me. <laughs> Again, on Tuesday. With his sex. Yeah. <laughs> 